Hey everyone, it's Friendly Tree here. Um, as you know, I released a video just the other day uh, showing my inputs for some different movements with Nina, such as um, backdash cancelling, her side step one, and her instant while standings. One thing that people ask for, and I'm happy to be able to provide pretty quickly, is a video showing her Hayashida step and sort of explaining that. So first off, Hayashida step is a movement that's unique to backsway characters. So that's characters that have a backsway, a quarter circle back. You remember me showing in my last video, hopefully. I, I hold my stick, I've got my ring and my little finger underneath the stick, my middle finger and my index finger above the stick, and my thumb wrapped around to the other side. To do a backsway, I use my middle foot phalanx on both my index finger and my middle finger to push down and also try and hook around. At the same time I use my thumb. I use my thumb to push in so it's a combination between my index finger, my middle finger and my thumb to do a quarter circle back. On the other side it's purely from my index finger and my middle finger. So the Hayashida step, what is it? The Hayashida step is actually cancelling your back sway into a side step up. So the most basic way to do this is to do a back sway and then side step up after it. Oh. If you hold the up too long, you will jump. Now, there are faster ways to do this, but for now, quarter circle back, neutral up. As soon as you see the side step up, you do another quarter circle back. One common thing that I see people doing is they use side step one to initiate this. The side step one back sway. Alright. And just like that on the other side. By the way, to do up. I'm pretty much using my metacarpal phalangeal joint on my index finger and my um, my thumb just here. Sorry, so you can see it on the camera. Just there. Push up those two areas. Once again, if you hold the up too long, you jump. Now, there is a quicker way. There is a in some ways easier, in some ways harder. Definitely a way to make the Hayashida stick a more smooth movement, but I'm, I'm still learning it to be honest, I'm not very good at it. But you can do the movement with the up back. So you can actually rotate the stick right around from down all the way to up. The trick here though is you have to make sure you're familiar with where up is on the stick. Because if you do up back, it won't work. And if you do up forward, you're just gonna mess up the input completely. So what you do, you've got to get used to the timing as well. It's a quarter circle back, then a quarter circle from back to up. And I'm not very good at it on this side. That was okay. Um, anyway. You gotta make sure you don't hold the up too long or you'll jump. And if you stop at the up back, you'll often end up doing a cartwheel because you'll also, if you do up back back, it'll turn into a cartwheel. So on this side, I'm, I'm a bit better at it, I think. <laughs> a bit better. It's a tricky movement, it's a very tricky movement to high issue this step. So while you're learning, it's probably good just to start with the quarter circle back up method. And just think about what you're using it for really. Because I mean, it's, it's a very advanced movement, and a lot of the time you get a similar reward from backdash cancelling. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Um, please like and subscribe guys. And the, the next video I plan to do won't be for a couple of weeks yet because I'm going away. 
but I hope to do a video just demonstrating some of these movements and how to do them on pad. So good luck guys, let me know how you go practicing the Hayashi this step. You'll be doing it much better than me in no time. Thanks everyone, see you later.